Welcome. I uh, have a little quick and easy demo I want to set up right now for a Serenity wiki that is fairly commonly necessary. Adding an Excel export. Now I'm only going to look into the basic format of adding this. By this I mean this is only to add uh, the existing tool for Excel export to Serenity so that that way you're able to pull out the information from an existing uh, table on your system. Now the catch is there's also an advanced format which will allow you to look into importing items including a uh, column search but I'll deal with that with a follow-up video. Now it's a very simple very basic item there's essentially two sections that need to be added in one goes into the grid and the other one goes into the endpoint section now before I get on to there let us get this little fella up and running I have a sample up and running right now I've created a small uh, migration file this migration file has uh, only a handful of items in there the name, the description, and the quantity. Something that's nice and simple that's very often used for when you are running a uh, inventory of just about anything. Now, let's run this guy. I've already compiled and done the basic part of it. You're welcome to look at the uh, regular uh, movie tutorial manuals to see how to create a migration file, how to create a table, and how to do all the edits necessary to the form and whatnot. But meanwhile, let's get this up and running. So here we have your standard dashboard. This one is currently running with all the basic samples and whatnot that come from the free initial format of Serenity. Now, here under default is where we currently have the item that I'm going to be showing you. I've added a, a single item. As you can see right now, all you have is your standard importation and setup of the uh, table. You have your table with your three columns that I created. I've got my form. I haven't done any edits to the form. I haven't done any edits to anything. You'll notice here there is no current Excel export. So let me show you quite simply how to add that. Now we are going to look under the location, which in my case I set them all up under default, default demo one. Now, like I said, you need to do an edit onto the grid and onto the endpoint. So we're going to start by opening grid. Now, in the grid, it is actually quite simple what you need to add. Oh, let me do the following. Uh, here we go. So for the grid, using the exact same items I have from the wiki. Uh, you just simply need to add a button. Adding buttons is actually fairly simple. You just call upon the necessary uh, subset module, the get buttons. You bring it in. Obviously, these are just placeholders, so let's update this to uh, demo one row. And my project in this case is called Serene 2. And in this case, the table we are using is going to be uh, demo service. So, let me explain what I've done right now. This is actually quite simple. I've just called upon the buttons existing format, called the super of buttons, and created, looked at the, the row that's going to be dealt with at the time. Uh, now we have the buttons pretty much pushing the Excel export helper create button. Now there's already an existing Excel export helper file within Serenity. So I'm calling this to call upon that button and its behavior. I'm calling upon this grid, what view it's looking at. I'm calling on the service for the table that it will be pulling uh, and asking for list Excel. As uh, you see, there is separator hint title. These here, these three are 
actually optional. This affects more how the button displays more than anything else. I'm going to leave them for now so that you can see what this essentially does. So we've saved that. Now let's go to the endpoint, which is a slightly uh, different change that we're going to be doing. In this case, we want to first make sure that we have the Serenity Reporting, Serenity Web, and Serenity System listed. Now you'll see it's not all present on the top out of the uh, uh, out of the box because it's not necessarily needed for every table so what we're going to do now is we're going to add the service that we were calling before you'll notice this here says list Excel now that just to show you back is here so the service that we're calling here using the base URL uh, shorthand is calling upon list Excel which is essentially the same item that you've just created so under the endpoints you've created a service call into the service endpoint to the list Excel now you'll notice here it'll do a connection to the server it'll request the list which will be the live list present on the view at the time uh, at this point demo one columns and now all I'm doing right now is doing two simple edits my demo one export so what I've done here is this here once again it, which is directly from the wiki calls upon the data creates the report calling upon the columns of the demo one columns which is the table that we're going to be pulling from I have uh, the repository which creates the report giving the report a name in this case I'm calling it my demo one export I'm giving it also a date time stamp this I do particularly so that that way I can have a unique name if I end up pulling multiple Excel exports I don't end up accidentally having them uh, try to overwrite one over the other just makes for less chance of a break so this done let's save let's rebuild okay now just out of habit I also like to always whenever I do any major changes go ahead and transform boom 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 and three two one poof going going gone all right now let's pull this baby back up and let's see if our Excel export button is now present now it will come right back up since I already had one version up and running and uh, I logged in it should pop right into a logged in version here you go and now we go to demo one and now you'll see here we have the um, Excel export Ooh, looks like I accidentally have these two backwards um, you see that this says this is the hint and the hit is actually showing the title um, I will update that in my next run through uh, seems like it is uh, an issue on the Excel export helper. We'll deal with that in another time. So here you have, once again, your Excel export button. Click it. An automatic exportation is being done with the EPP Plus, which has been imported into Serenity. And that allows me to now have a fully functional Excel file with my four columns the ID the name the description the quantity you'll see here the ID the name the description the quantity and simple as that with just adding those two pieces of code and minor updates you've now added an Excel export button now a quick recap all that has been done is under the grid TS file on TypeScript you're calling upon the buttons and adding a button pushing forth the button for the Excel export helper 
using a preset you are then adding into the demo endpoint the actual endpoint for the list Excel allowing you to make straight use out of the file content that exists so that that way you just edit the columns that you're going to be calling forth and the report name and you're done and just like that you've now added an Excel export feature to your existing table uh, which you're welcome to just add over and over again as needed into your other tables that you might need so that you can import onto your computer from any table that you have on your project. Uh, more uh, more files will be coming forth into the YouTube tutorials as uh, the weeks go by. I always welcome everybody to shoot me an email uh, through the YouTube channel at any time so that that way I can have an idea of what you guys prefer I focus on as I'm creating these demo versions. My goal is to promote this excellent software so all I ask is star the repository, spread the word, spread the love. Thanks to Volkan Ceylan for an excellent template that he's created. And aside from that, I welcome any and all likes and followings. The more followings I can get for my videos, the easier it is for me to spend more time taking care of creating wonderful videos for you guys to be able to make better use of this system. Thank you, and until next time.